Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to do a haul video. These are some of the things that I've been loving or that I've been wanting to try. Some things I have been using and some of these things are um, things I just recently got. So I have a few things from the drugstore or like Ulta and then I have a few high-end or from Sephora and maybe like two things. Luxury. Yeah, so this video is going to be pretty simple. Um, I'm not going to explain... Why I haven't posted, I am going to do that in, a, in my next video explaining where I've been or what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of months. Um, but for today's video, I just want to keep it simple and do like an Ulta chair with you what I've been uh, buying lately. Uh, a few things from Sephora. I'm just going to bring them close. I'm going to be starting off with Ulta first. A few drugstore things in here and I'm just gonna pick at random I'm just gonna stick my hand in and pick it. Also I got my hair done. I used to have well it used to be darker. I still wanted to stay a brunette but kinda have some dimension or bring some life to it. Um but yeah I think it's like a nice transition into like spring summer hair. Uh but I don't want to go back to blonde. I think I'm done being blonde for a long time but this is my uh, current hair. Okay, so first I have the Wet n Wild Star Power Makeup Brushes. Um, this is like Wet n Wild does a lot of little collabs. And so I saw this and thought it was super cute. Um, I didn't get the whole collection, but uh, the one thing left there was the brushes. And I think they're super cute. Um, and this was out for a while. But it was like last, like a last minute thing where I saw it and I picked it up. I think it's just like a, it's like one eyebrow, I mean one eyeshadow brush and then like a face brush, maybe like a blush brush. But it's super cute. It has like, I don't know, like glitter inside of it. Anyway. So yeah, I got this. Next, this one actually I got at Target. This is the Sonia Kashuk Makeup Blender. I have... A few foundations that I've been trying, but I want to try it with a beauty blender just because, um, I don't know, I feel like it may be, it'll be more, um, like, luminous or natural looking. So, yeah, I didn't want to go for a, a beauty blender or, like, the Real Techniques one. I want to pick something different, and I really thought this was cute, like, the black and white marble. So, I got that. So, I got a few things from Elf from their, like, Putty line. I guess I don't know if that's what you would call it. I got the Poreless the Putty Primer, the two of the Putty blushes and this one's in Turks and Caicos and this one's in Tahiti. I've been really loving like cream blushes, cream bronzers, especially since my skin is more on the drier side. I like to apply cream products and I don't, I hardly ever use um, like setting powder or anything like that. So I've been really liking these. This one I hear it's like a dupe for the Tatcha. I don't know what it's called. But I know like a lot of people really like this one and then I'm excited. I think I've, uh, I opened up one of these and tried them. But I'm excited to use these two. This one I have opened up and used. It's the Maybelline Eraser uh, Instant Age Rewind. This is a YouTube OG. Basically, I kind of just use this one to brighten up my under eyes. I go in with a regular concealer that's a little bit more to my color. And then if I want, want to brighten up, I go in with this one. So I've been loving that. Next, I have the Milani Supercharged. Again, because I am more on the drier side, um, I wanted a primer that's going to be hydrating or like make me look luminous. This one, I have opened this up and tried it. It's definitely one of my favorites. I think there's another one from NYX I want to try. Anyways, this is a really good one for drugstore if you want a very hydrating primer. And I feel like it also helps my makeup last throughout the day. So I definitely recommend this. Next, I picked up the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil. Um, this is in the shade... Playa Vista. Um, I am not a huge makeup, I'm, I'm not a huge lipstick fan. I feel like my lips are really dry or I don't know, I feel like I look weird in lipstick. I don't really like how, I don't know, I just don't like how I look. But lip glosses and lip oils, especially like neutral colors, I will definitely go for. So this I'm excited to use. It looks very hydrating. Next, I have the Revlon. So fierce, um, it's like this quad makeup. 
I think I got this one, yeah, I got this one at CVS and I saw Kathleen Lights talk about it and say that they were such good quality and they're so pigmented and creamy and shiny so there are more colors but I thought to try it out I like these tones just neutral browns a gold you know so, some shimmer so I'm excited to try this too I also got the NARS Laguna bronzer I got this in a sample or travel size however you want to call it um there was one time I was getting a foundation and the girl was telling me that you know if the foundation is too light I can always go in and darken it up with a bronzer but if you know me I love to buy especially when I'm trying things out I don't go full full size I try like the sample sizes just because I like to buy new things and try new things out that I I don't know I feel like if I buy the full product I won't use it or it'll, it will be a waste whereas I get this size I finish it and then I get to try something else so I think that was it for Ulta or like drugstore I'm gonna go in with Sephora and I have a few uh, skincare products this one I have already opened up it's the peace out acne they're like like dots that you open one up and you put it on where we have acne and overnight it kind of like makes it go down and like helps it heal a lot faster so definitely been loving these this is the Fenty skin I've tried this before and I love it um, again I got the sample or like the smaller size it's the Fenty skin total cleanser and the Fenty skin um, toner or like fat water serum toner type of thing definitely if you're into skincare or you want to try some new skincare and you are more on the drier side I would recommend Fenty because it's definitely my go-to and I love Fenty Beauty is just really good at what they do next I got a serum from The Ordinary um, I don't know how to pronounce these words so I'm not even gonna try but it's just a serum for I believe acne yeah it's a blemish formula so uh, definitely Ordinary Beauty is also a very good skincare product because they're very affordable and to me they have worked with clearing up my skin. This I got I think for my points or maybe my birthday gift. This is the Kiehl's. It has a Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask and a Ultra Facial Cream. Again, I love these little mini ones because I get to try them or it's easier to, you know, especially if you travel or you go, I go a lot from one place to the other so they're easy to carry around and to like pack and stuff so this is the cream and this is the mask, it's a cute little duo packet oh actually I have a drugstore product here, the e.l.f. skin holy hydration eye cream um, this is, I feel like this is more something that I would use for hydrating not necessarily to tighten or take away dark circles but this is definitely yeah for dry or it says dry oily combination but i think this is more of just like a hydrating under eye cream whatever so that was it for the sephora skincare and i'm going to go into the makeup products a good amount of things in here that i'm excited and i love to try out so first another thing from fenty beauty is the what is this the Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler. I usually go for like a drugstore. I forgot what brand it is. I get it from Ulta. It's like a drugstore eyebrow pencil. I kind of would just fill in my eyebrows and like use this fully, but I want to get more into like, I don't know, knowing how to do my eyebrows and like making them look really good. So this I got, I want to try. I know a lot of people use it on the Anastasia one, but I saw this one and I wanted to try it and I love the color and the packaging of it. So it's just the little fine pencil and what I like about this one, it doesn't have a regular spoolie. It has like these like tight little bristles in there and you kind of just brush your hair instead of like, I don't know, a spoolie. I think that I prefer that over a regular traditional type of spoolie. So I got that and then in combination with this, I feel like my eyebrows, the hairs would always go down and so I wanted to try the Anastasia clear brow gel I feel like I would just go in with this to like comb them up and then go in with the brow pencil to fill it in and kind of just perfect the eyebrows I got a few things from Patrick Ta I have the double take cream powder blush and she's juicy lip mask so this again since I've been loving cream products I have this has fingerprints all over it. I 
saw this at Ulta and I thought it was really cute, really pretty. So it has a cream, it has a little cover for the cream. Um, you have a cream, a blush, and then the powder brush on the bottom. I really like the packaging, but so this blush, I feel like it's more of like a neutral. It's not too pink, it's not too brown or orange. It's like a very like neutral, almost bronzy type of blush. But when you put it on the skin, it doesn't look brown, or but it doesn't look pink. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, maybe it looks a little bit pink, but it's just like if you ever want to just put on some of this no bronzer, it kind of just brings some color into your face. It's she's so LA. I love this color, and then and then I think this is just like a a basic like a glowy lip mask. I don't know. I don't have anything on my lips. Yeah, it just kind of like makes your lip a little bit glossy. It has like a minty, minty smell and taste to it. So I have a few of more, or only two things, of more higher end products. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is another YouTube makeup OG. A lot of people love this and used to rave about it. And of course I never tried it because I never had the money for it. But I thought I would go ahead and splurge and try it out finally. And let me tell you, I have opened this and I have used it. And I love it. It's hands down one of my favorite foundations. It just, it's actually what I have on my skin right now. Um, it's just very, I don't know, it's exactly luminous silk. Like it just melts into your skin. It looks so natural. It has, I'd say it's more to light to medium coverage. Um, but it lasts throughout the day for me and it just... I don't know, it makes my skin look a lot more healthy because I like any foundation that I used before, it would either bring out my texture or it would just, I don't know, it would make me look not smooth. <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorite foundations. If you want to splurge on yourself and you want like more of a light to medium coverage, like an everyday super natural looking, uh, I would definitely recommend the Luminous Silk because it's top top of my list for foundations. And the next high-end product is the Chanel Cream Bronzer. I've used this a long time ago. I used to have this a while ago. It was one of my favorite cream products. It's definitely, definitely still one of my favorite cream products. Um, a lot of fingerprints, but it, it is, I feel like it's a very good, decent size. You get what you pay for because the product inside is really good. It's very creamy. I have this on for my bronzer on top of and then the Laguna bronzer but the product itself is really nice and so I feel like if you want to splurge on yourself two of the products that I would recommend you get is the Luminous Silk and the Chanel bronzer and I just love I don't know what it is I love keeping things in their packaging it looks I don't know it's cute okay so the last thing that I have the last product is the Makeup Forever HD skin I know everyone has been talking about this one um and it's been sold out. I was trying to find my shade and it, I think I had to go to like two different stores or three because one of them I bought it and then I tried it. It was the wrong shade or like the wrong undertone and then when I went back to get the correct shade they were sold out. And so I had to drive 40 like 40 minutes to another Sephora. And I got there like five minutes before they closed and they had this, my shade, but it was like the last one. So I was relieved that I made the, the 40 minute drive. But this is in the shade 2Y20. Yeah, this is, I think this is a, it used to be like a, the black cap and like more slimmer bottle. And I think it might've been plastic, but they kind of like, Gave it a little makeover, gave it a new cap. I think they might have um, changed the formula on this. But um, yeah, I'm excited to try this. So I wanted something like, I would. I didn't want to use this all the time because it is expensive and I wanted to keep it as much as possible or long as possible. So I picked this one up to try it out. I hear a lot of good reviews, but I also hear a lot of mixed reviews. I feel like people say it's like sticky or or it's not for dry skin, but we'll see. I have a lot of good hydrating products. But also I think Kathleen Lights, I got this from Kathleen Lights and she has more drier skin and she loved the foundation. So uh, hopefully it works out for me. 
So that's all that I have for you guys. If you stuck around, thank you so much. If you stuck around with my channel, I really appreciate it. Um, definitely in the next coming videos, or one video, I'll explain what's kind of been going on. Um, and then I'm kind of just going to do random videos from now on. Just whatever I feel like filming. But I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you stay or you subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.